press power and hit F12 repeatedly until it comes to this screen. Then when it comes to this screen, you say CD-ROM. I'm assuming you've inserted the disc first, shut down the machine completely, okay? And then you restart by hitting the power button and then hitting F12 repeatedly until it comes to this screen and asks you what you want to boot up with. So you hit CD-ROM, press enter. Okay, so if you want to boot from the CD, you say hit any button, doesn't matter. And then this screen comes up, says Windows enabled. Then you hit enter again. Windows will load the files. And it could take a minute or two or whatever. I'm going to pause that for a second. And here we go, it's finishing up. Boom. Windows will attempt to boot up in its own screen. Okay. Select standard keyboard US next searching for Windows installations and this is where it's going to try and find yours. I'm sorry about the shaky camera. Okay, so I see Windows 7 here. Use recovery tools to fix Windows. We're going to use this one. And if you don't see anything in there, we got a problem. So I hit next and I go to System Restore. It will attempt to start System Restore hit next. That's the last one that was installed. I always click on this one here to make sure you can see all the other ones. Go back to a day that you knew it was working correctly like 325 or whatever. Click on that one. Hit next. Say yes to any other following things. It will restart the computer automatically. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna hit cancel. Okay and I'm gonna shut this down because I don't want that to come up. In any case that's how you do it. Okay.